Hey guys, I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph Stove, and today we're making one of my all-time favorite vegetables, and it is green beans. But these are not gonna be any other green beans. These are gonna be old-fashioned, southern-style green beans. Just delish. So, let's get our stovetop started, and let's get these green beans going. Let's go. All right, back over here on the stovetop, I've got, this is about a six quart um, smaller stock pot. And what we're gonna do to get our green beans started, I did say they're Southern style, so they are starting with some good old ham hocks. What really sets them apart. Now, I think if I made green beans any other way, my family would probably be very upset with me. So this is, these particular ham hocks, I think this is only, I have to look at the package, just a couple of pounds. They were on the smaller side when I went to the farmer's market. So let me just check them real quick. Yeah, they're not a um, little over a pound and a half. So normally I get these that are a little bit larger. And if you're not sure what a ham hock is, obviously this comes from a pig or pork, but it's kind of between the part where um, their leg and their foot come together. And so these are smoked and they're um, these are not frozen, you can get them and freeze them. But I'm gonna come down with a knife and just along this fat part, this is kind of what you would dry and make some crackling, oh, that'll be good. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna cut it or score it slightly on each one. Now if these were a little bit larger, I would probably just use um, two, maybe three, but since these are smaller, like I said, that's all that they had, Skin's a little tough right there. And again, I'm cutting through it because it does help open them up a little bit because this is some tough skin. So make some, mm, this one's a little bit larger, so you can see. Probably part of the foot there. Now, if you're someone that you do not like meat or pork, this probably is not the recipe for you because this is definitely a pork inspired dish and again this scoring and some people I've seen do not do this I know a lot of times my grandmother would always try to go score them sometimes you know if she was in a hurry she wouldn't especially if she was just going to cook them a little bit longer but I found that it just helps the flavor release a little bit better all right I try to do it about three times three and you'll see I'm coming quite close to a bone right there so We've got five kind of medium sized ham hocks in our pan. And we're gonna come in with some water. And it'll kind of depend on how much water you have as to how big your ham hocks are. But you're wanting to come in and just about cover them. So it's probably gonna be about eight cups. Yep, just about eight cups. And then we're gonna put this on medium high and I'm gonna bring this to a boil because I want all this flavor to come out and we'll be right back. Alrighty, our ham hocks have been cooking for about 30 minutes and you can see each one of them, you see they're starting to break open. And if I can get this side of there, you can see where I scored that edge, it's just helping all that wonderful flavor come out even more. So we've got this beautiful stock that's infused with that. Um, smoky ham flavor and salt, just delicious. So now we're gonna come in and I have here, these are four pounds of green beans. These are fresh green beans that I just purchased yesterday from the farmer's market. So I'm gonna put these straight in. And yes, I do cook them all at one time and we will eat them. So you see that pretty green color. Now this, is such a super easy method for your green beans, but it is low and slow. So at this point, we've got them in here. We're gonna reduce our heat to kind of a medium low, and we're gonna let these sit uncovered, and they are gonna cook for at least an hour and a half or two hours until most of this broth has reduced and kind of infused into our green beans. We are going to add just a little bit of salt to it. We don't need a lot because our ham hocks are salted as well. 
But I do like to add just a little bit of salt to this. So I'm going to add one, two teaspoons of salt, and then I'll taste it again at the end to see if we need additional salt in here. So this again is going to simmer for at least an hour and a half or two hours until this liquid starts to reduce and they'll become kind of a deep dark green color and mm, just yummy and delicious. Alrighty, our green beans have been simmering about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes and as you can see the liquid has reduced greatly and you will get this deep dark intense color it won't be vibrant green anymore it'll be a deep dark color and also you can see our ham hocks here i'll just use this fork to pick this one up it's just bursting into so all of that wonderful flavor that was right by the bone is just kind of permeating through our green beans just beautiful now if your ham hocks had a lot of meat on them you could go ahead and take your ham hocks out and shred the meat. Now these do not have a lot of meat on them. They just had a lot of the bone and the flavor, which is fine. So I'm gonna leave these as they are. I'm gonna get ready to taste these. I'm Stephanie and this has been Steph's Day. For today, we made old fashioned Southern style green beans with our wonderful ham hocks. Now I'm just going to kind of lift out a little bit of these green beans to taste. If we didn't add a lot of salt to these, so you might want to test them. Look at that. Oh, they're super hot. Oh, I'm going in, they're good. Oh yeah, they're just perfect. But always give them a good taste to see if you do need to add any more salt. Mm. That smoked ham hock flavor all through the green beans, just amazing. So if you've never had green beans, like these Southern style green beans with these wonderful smoked ham hocks, do give it a try and I guarantee you, you'll wanna make them time and time again. So remember, I'm Stephanie, this has been Steph Stove. Give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button for more great content like this. Remember, Steph Stove, we're making memories one dish at a time. Thanks for watching.